Bethel family. My name is Catherine Lukey and my husband and I have raised our boys, Josh and Matt, here in Sherwood Park and we've been members of Bethel since 2000. We're so thankful to be a part of this church community and can see the light at the end of the tunnel that will bring us back to worshiping together. What a joyous time that will be. In the meantime, I'm humbled to share this devotion time with you. I've called it Pause, Breathe, based on Matthew 6, 26 to 33. It's something I've needed to do frequently over the past year and maybe even more so as we come closer to the end of the pandemic. Matthew 6 reads, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about your clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They don't labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you of little faith? So don't worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Spring is all around us, and this time of year brings me joy, as I can't fail to observe God's handiwork all around me. It's the time of year where green is definitely my favorite color. Green buds turning to leaves, green grass, so much growth, so much renewal. Just a few weeks ago, we were starting to hope for the gray of winter to change to the green of spring. Pause, breathe. What do you look for at this time of year? What do you see that reminds you of God's story of renewal and redemption? The transition, like so many things in life, doesn't happen overnight. The gradual change from gray to a hint of green Lord, open my eyes to the subtle changes around, happening around me all the time. I can walk out our back door and into the beauty of God's creation. Are you seeing them, these subtle changes? First signs, pussy willows, buds on trees, birds returning, robins, ducks, geese, pelicans. Pause, breathe. One of my favorite sounds at this time of year is the melody of frogs. My sister and I wait in anticipation for this sure sign of spring that then, for a couple of months, lulls me to sleep each night. Renewal, rebirth. These verses in Matthew draw me into nature and the wonder of God's creation. What does this mean to me? Pause, breathe. Life is a journey through many seasons, and yet when I pause, Breathe in an awareness of his creation never fails to bring me back to the realization of how much God loves me, loves you, loves his whole creation. He didn't spare any energy as every detail mattered and matters today. If all of those details of creation matter to God, then how much as his creation do we matter to him? One day the buds turn to a blush of green, and then with one good rain, an explosion of color, or one big snow dump in the middle of spring, and it's still green. Pause, breathe. Spring is here, and I'm reminded of God's love for me, for you. Did you know that wellness science is catching up on many biblical principles that God has shared in his word? There are numerous books and articles that have been published on the benefits of spending time in nature, God's incredible creation. Pause, breathe. Being in nature impacts our overall well-being by reducing anger, fear, stress, and increasing pleasant feelings. It not only makes us feel better emotionally, but also contributes to our physical well-being by reducing blood pressure, heart rate, muscle tension. Something I think God knew when he created nature the way he did. These verses in Matthew remind me of how much God cares for us and spending time in his creation consistently draws me into this truth. 
I do nothing to change the bare trees to a glorious green, to bring the birds back every year and to hear the spring melody of the frogs, but God does and can. If he cares about all these details, I'm reminded of how much he cares for me. So I pause, I breathe, take it all in, not to be in such a hurry to rush by the gifts that he shares. I love having a full life and pre-pandemic, I, I equated much of full with busy, out for visits, challenged by work, hosting friends and family, church, choir, Bible study, pickleball, lots of good things, but even listing them all right now makes me tired. Pause, breathe. This time, this spring has reminded me of God's gracious love in my life. I want to remember this, to not rush into tomorrow or the day after as things open up in the world around us, but to continue to pause and breathe. Take in all God has done and is doing every day because maybe, just maybe, he created this beauty for his joy and for ours. Join me in a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your word and the signs of new life that we see every spring a reminder of the new life we have in you. Draw us closer, let us pause, let us breathe. As we seek your kingdom, I thank you for the reminder that it can be as simple as walking out my door into the beauty of your creation and pausing to breathe. Amen. Thanks for joining me tonight and I look forward to seeing you all soon. God bless.